Hello Tube. This is the installer of Morph OS on my iBook G4. So I'm attempting to install Morph OS on this uh, 2005 iBook G4 with uh, 1.33 GHz G4 CPU, 768 MB of RAM, and the ATI Radeon 9550 graphics card. So, yeah, now we're just picking the language and the keyboard. So far, so good. Okie dokie. I'll adjust the camera angle just a little bit, so... Okay, sound works too. That's good. Let's proceed with the installation by pressing installation. And wait for the CD ROM to load everything. We want a new installation. Let's see. Scrolling works. That's cool. Let's see. I'm in the Netherlands. I'm gonna go with the English language. Next. Yep, that's fine. Time is two hours off. Let's see, American keyboard. Yeah, that's all fine. Let's leave, I'll leave that default here. Erase all data on disk. That's fine with me. and install now it's just going to copy all the files I'll, uh, I'll be back when this uh, part finishes and then we'll see if Morph OS is actually going to boot on this thing. We'll find out soon. Okay, we just got the message Morph OS 3.5 is successfully installed. Let's hit OK. And actually, I have to right click, but that's kind of impossible. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I have to bring up a separate menu so I can actually log off, but I need a right click for that. Well, damn. Let's see here. I've got a mouse. I just need to disconnect it from my Power Mac G4 right there. I've also been experimenting with uh, Morph OS on that thing. I haven't gotten it up and running yet. Just to put in a different hard drive. And hopefully, I can make that work. Because it's iBook G4. I'm not quite sure if, if I'm actually going to keep this thing for that long. It might actually get sold pretty quickly. So now we can actually. Okay, it was Command Q, I think. Let's reboot! Now we'll see if it actually is going to boot into Morph OS. And then into the installer. I can hear the hard drive. It's definitely doing something. Yeah, there we go. Morph OS 3.5 is loading. And it is actually booted already. Holy shit, that was quick. There we go. Let's brighten up this, uh, that thing a little bit. So, Morph OS 3.5 is now installed. 
it's pretty cool. I don't have any knowledge of Morph OS, so I couldn't really tell you what this is all about. But I just wanted to try it out nevertheless so I can actually uh, learn something of it. Apparently there's an application called Benchmark. Let's hit GFX speed and hit Benchmark. There we go. CPU to VRAM benchmark is in progress. CPU from VRAM benchmark. Okay. Well, then we'll just let this run for a little bit. This particular iBook G4 has full 3D acceleration support. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's quit that. Not all Macs can actually run Morph OS, so you really have to watch out. If you have NVIDIA graphics in any sort of way on your PowerPC Mac, then you're fucked. Because it only supports ATI currently. So. So, yeah, Morph OS is installed. That's pretty cool. Of course, we've got some shell going on here. Got defrag utility for the disk. Got a little RAM disk here that uh, monitors the RAM usage. That's all good. Let's see what kind of utilities we get. Task manager. CPU usage is just 1.5%, 1%. My god. Transstats. Whatever that is. Jukebox, what does that do? Oh, exactly what you think it does is jukebox. <laughs> Doi! <laughs> of course, I've got a calculator here. 9 plus 9 equals 18. There we go. Graphic boards. Okay, there we go. Now things get interesting. ATI Radeon. RV360, M12, that's a mobility radio 9550, made by Advanced Micro Devices Incorporated, 32 megabytes of onboard memory, GPU clock 210, memory 184, and it is fully supported by Morph OS. So there you go. That's a short installation and a quick look at, uh, really quick look at the Morph OS operating system running on the iBook G4. So hopefully this inspires all of you to actually give this a go if you don't really have a purpose for iBook G4 anymore or if you have a spare disk laying around you want to experiment with. You should give Morph OS a try to get some uh, Amiga experience I guess. <laughs> or at least to get some feel for it. As far as I can tell this is going to be one fun experience getting to know this operating system. It's most definitely uh, quicker to boot uh, than uh, Mac OS X. Especially quicker than uh, Leopard. It just takes about two minutes to load on this thing. This was just pretty much instant boot. So I'm going to try and see if I can actually get this working on my uh, Power Mac G4 as well. I really hope I could. Because that would make a hell of a retro machine. To have one hard disk with uh, OS 9 and one hard disk with Morph OS to try on uh, to experiment with. But anyway, I'm going to end this video now. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video on the installation of Morph OS 3.5 on the iBook G4. And thank you all for watching.